The Beverly City School District, a small K-8 district located on the Delaware River in Burlington County, is a model for increasing student achievement. The district, with a poverty rate of over 70%, in 2011 was classified as a failing school district. But things have turned around dramatically in Beverly City. In 2017, the district was recognized by the New Jersey Department of Education as a lighthouse district. On a recent tour of the school, local Beverly City team leaders and state officials saw firsthand how these changes have had a direct effect on students, on test scores, and the community at large. I believe that when there's the collaboration among all the stakeholders who are serving the children in the community, as well as the story and the narrative that's being told through the data and the voices of the children, that incredible change can happen. The journey from the back of the class to the head of the class was one marked by strong administrative leadership, collaboration between the Board of Education, the administration, and teachers, and a hard look at the data to drive decisions. Back in 2011, the district was a failing school district. Test scores were low, and the district had instability in the superintendency. We had four superintendents uh, in the very short period of time, in about four years. Uh, so we had to change in, and bring in a new educational leader for the district if we wanted things to change. The board's goal, however, was to improve student achievement. It, it was definitely a team effort to try to put this on the right track. Uh, and it started with school boards as well. Uh, we had some very good field service representatives who came in to help us. Uh, they kind of directed us on, on where the board should be going with things. Um, we then met with the administration and laid out a plan. But it was a buy-in from uh, everybody from custodial all the way up through administration and to the board. The board selected Elizabeth Giacobbe as their superintendent. I used that opportunity to completely rebrand the district and make sure that Beverly City was a place that my students and my staff were proud to come to every day and proud to say that this is where they attended school. We always say it's, it's not okay to be bad at your job when you're dealing with children's lives. So it provided us with the opportunity to make sure we had the right people in our school teaching our students. Superintendent Giacobbe immediately recognized she needed additional help and with the Board of Education's support, brought on a new Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Carrie Lawler. Carrie and Elizabeth began Beverly City's journey to improved student achievement. By analyzing the data and making the teachers part of the solution, changes began to happen. And our teachers were just thirsty for that information as to what they should be teaching and when they should be teaching it and providing them with that scope and sequence was daunting. Uh, it was daunting to build, but by the end of my first year here, we had curriculum in every single uh, grade level for every single subject. They just rolled up their sleeves and they did what they were, you know, what needed to be done. I think that's why we've done what we've done because we're all in it together. You know, we work as a cohesive unit. Beverly City is a story about why people get into the field of public education, whether as a school board member, teacher, or administrator. It's to help kids succeed. It, however, does not happen just by good intentions, but with districts looking at the data, having collaboration and cooperation among all the adults and a strong, committed leadership of the district. Nobody wants to be on the losing team. Um, and so now that we feel like we have the right staff and faculty all buying in to become on a winning team. And our goal now is to take this winning team that you see here before you today and we're going to the Super Bowl. Congratulations to the Beverly City School District for their hard work and moving the district from the back of the class to the head of the class. Music